So this is a toothpick grafting of the back cross hybrid uh, between KVA and RR. So this surface is freshly leveled and I spray my tool very well with the alcohol and also spray the surface of the paddy well. And this time I'm trying a little new thing. Before I use a toothpick, you can see the, the seedlings. Like here, that's, that's the one I'm going to use. See the stem is very very small. The toothpick are thicker than the stem, so when you punch a hole, the stem will kind of lose inside. I want to try use a wire, so the wire's thickness are similar to the stem. So hopefully this way, the connection between the seedlings and the rootstock will be tighter. Tight tissue to tissue connection is a factor for the successful grafting. So I'm going to just cut the end off in diagonal and I scratch the roots a little bit, kind of damage them a little bit and I spread it thoroughly and spray here thoroughly and spray my wire and then I punch a little hole right here not too deep and uh, put the seedlings inside I can put them as deep as I can the deeper the better and <laughs> they still have the seeds left there. Uh -huh. I'll leave it there. So that's pretty deep. You see? That seedling is inside. So that's about it. It's very simple. So I'm going to do a test, two test. That one is use the, the wire. And this one, I'm going to use the toothpick to see which one is better. Because toothpick have an advantage too, because it's, the tip is pointy. So the deeper to inside, the hole is smaller. So it's smaller and smaller until they hug each other. So maybe that will have an advantage also. So let's see, I try, try these seeds. Oh, spray them thoroughly. Trying to do a diagonal cut. See that the, the end will be have an open, and uh, I'll scratch surface a little, just a little bit. And this time I use a toothpick. not too deep so they can reach all the way to the bottom to connect that's about it I'll just have two because I know that all three if I put three in here eventually only one survive so Two should be enough. Let's just spray a little bit and make sure that uh, there's no fungus contamination after. Then I use a clean plastic bag to cover them, keep the moisture, and tie it up with a string. So if we put the, the one that did not grab towards us, the right side is a wire hole and left side is a toothpick hole. And then I label it, today is uh, August 25th, so it's KVA cross with RR 
The right side is a wire and the left side is a toothpick. So that's the whole thing. I'm going to do a few more but I'm not going to tape it anymore. So I did five at the end. Later on I find out that the use of the wire to push the hole, the hole is too small. So when the seedling goes inside, the liquid is still inside, the pressure has no place to go. So I keep pushing the seedling upwards. So I just go back to the toothpick. Toothpick is still the better. And also at the end I ran out of the rooted stock. So these two are not rooted stock. It's just the cutting I put in the soil today and grabbed it in the same time. I saw some other people doing that, like some dragon fruit farm doing that way. So I'm going to just to check if this can root it and support the scion in the same time. This is a toothpick grafting I did August 25th. The seedlings was eaten by some worms and this one's completely gone. And this one's gone also but they have some tip there. The reason I want to make this uh, video is it's only uh, today's uh, exactly September 1st, six days after toothpick grafting. This one is eaten, so I try to see I can pull it out. And I I pulled, I try to pull it. I can't even pull it. It's it's already rooted. I thought that was really interesting, only six days. Even though this is all eaten and everything is failed. But they tell you something that this one is already established in six days. I'm going to open it up to see how, how it looks like inside. I want to just cut it open to see how, how it looks like inside. See this is it. And uh, you can't try, try to pull it. You can't pull it. It's already grow inside. I'll just get the cut here. I want to see what see how how it looks like inside. It's they call the give you a lemon, you make a lemonade. They eat the seedlings, so give a chance to take a look what's going on there. Okay. See? See here? It's already growing, already healed inside. See, that's. It's already. Huh, that's really interesting. It's already. Uh, there. Hard to to do this way. Can't they can't? I have to go see through the camera. See, I can't even separate them. I can't even separate the scion from the rootstock anymore. It's completely sealed. Is that interesting? Only seven days? Only six days? I think it's very interesting. Six days already sealed. This is my my other toothpick grafting. You can see this pretty um the, the seedling is pretty healthy, but the root stock has some rust, rust in there. I open it, spray some alcohol. So now it's uh, getting, it seems the, the rotten rust is under control. And this one is a little better, less rusting. But you can see all the seedlings are pretty good. It's uh, six days. I'm going to keep them in the bag for a little while. And then we'll do some update. I was going to do the update 
when they are established, but because of the little worm eat my seedlings, now I kind of see that the scion is already established in the rootstock. So I just want to just end this uh, mini series and uh, publish first and do the follow up later. Thanks for watching.